What's good, A1 gang? Up next, man, I gotta hit y'all with this Q&A, man. A lot of y'all been asking me to drop a Q&A for the questions y'all been having about me. So we about to get it out the way right here. All my live streams, I get hundreds of questions where, you know, what's this, what's this, what's this? This is the video to answer all the, those questions. I'm directing everybody back to this video, so we finna get this out the way, man. These is the questions from y'all. So the first question we got is, what is my name? My name is Stay Down, Come Up. That's what y'all can call me. Stay down, come up, aka December. So either stay down, come up, or December, like the month, same thing. So if you want to abbreviate it as stay down, that's fine. If you want to just say stay down, come up, that's fine. If you want to say December, that's fine. Either or. Next question is what state am I from? I'm from Wisconsin. That's a state in the Midwest of the United States. For y'all that don't know, specifically, I'm from a city called Milwaukee. Okay, which countries do you like the most of the reactions? Uh, I like every country so far that I'm doing reactions to. Each country that I did a reaction to really low-key has some fire in it that I didn't expect to find. So I'm pretty much rocking with everybody, man. That's 100. Uh, what country do you like the most? Hmm. I think you, I, I'd assume you mean by like the country that I do reactions to. Because if you just say a country, I'm going to say my country because that's where I'm from. But, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who rocking with me, though. The country, I can't pick a country the most out of outside of my country. But I can say the countries that I'm rocking with the hardest would definitely be the UK, definitely be Sweden, definitely be Norway. You know what I'm saying? You got to just look at my channel and see the reactions I'm doing. That'll let you know. So that's the countries. Uh, the next question we got, what attracts you to a girl? Uh, intellect. Of course, you know, beauty. Uh, mainly the most thing I like about a girl is her mind. You know what I'm saying? I, I like I like a female that that don't think like the average female. I'll just wrap it up and leave it like that. Do you like Indian girls? Yes, I like them. You know what I'm saying? Any type of girl. I don't discriminate. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no type. Bad. That's it. As long as she bad, you know what I'm saying? We good. Would you ever do a story time? I got some story times coming on the way for y'all. I'm telling you, some fire story times. I'm telling you, I don't think nobody got, because I, I just got to be careful with the stories that I tell on YouTube, because I've been doing a lot of real shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's not as easy for me to just be like, oh, this story, that story. So I got to kind of filter out what stories I can do. But trust me, y'all, I'm going to hit y'all with some fire story times. So be looking out for that. Have you ever been in a fight or a game? For sure, I don't been in plenty fights. I used to box. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, far as for sport, uh, I was part of a boxing club. And no, I've never been in the gang. The only gang I rep is A1 Gang, and that's my YouTube gang. So, you know what I'm saying? That's as far as we going with the gang thing. I don't do no gang thing. Either. Another question is, where do you live? I'm living in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hopefully, I'll be moving out of this state pretty, pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, with y'all support, we can really make that happen. I'm trying, I'm trying to get to like LA, Miami, Vegas, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere where it's warm. My city, my state, cold as hell. I can't do this no more. Do you see yourself getting sponsored by Sprite in the future? Hey man, I definitely see it happening. Sprite need to go on and cut the check, man, for real, man. I see it happening. I really do. Do you want to become a YouTuber? Come on, man. I got more videos up than have of YouTube. Half of the people on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I got over 600 videos up in less than three months, man. I think I'm a YouTuber by now. And for y'all that don't know, my channel is monetized, so I do get paid from the ads that play in the beginning of the video. So, man, make sure y'all don't skip them ads, man. Show me some love, man. But I would consider myself a YouTuber. Let me know if y'all would. Let me know if y'all think I'm a good, a, a good YouTuber, too. What gave you the drive or hunger to do YouTube? You know I like to create. You know what I'm saying? So being able to be in front of the camera, being able to, you know, I like listening to music already. So being able to build something around that, you know what I'm saying? That was just the plug to me. I'm like, shit, why not? You know what I'm saying? Especially seeing, you know, other people, you know, popping with it and shit. Like as far as like social media uh, influencers, that was the thing to me. So I'm like, damn, I would love to be, you know, somebody who could be online, you know, have a lot of people who fuck with me or rock with me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how it go, man. And plus, man, this shit fire, man. Who wouldn't want to do this? Do you have a girlfriend? No, I do not have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. 
Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. Man, I seen the results. I believe that was a draw. But I had to say Deontay Wilder, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tyson Fury, though. You know what I'm saying? I definitely got respect for him. Uh, what sitcoms did you watch growing up? Uh, basically, I used to watch Fresh Prince, Martin. Uh, shit. Family Matters, Full House, uh, shit, plenty of shit. Everything that used to come on light, you know what I'm saying? BT, uh, Nickelodeon, all that type of shit. I was watching all that. Well, of course, I don't know if you consider like Simpsons and shit like that a, a sitcom, but for sure, Simpsons, the PJs. Y'all probably don't even know what the PJs is. I know y'all don't know what the PJs is. My favorite gang. Honestly, I don't really play too many video games. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to get back into some, you know what I'm saying, and see what's been going on. But as far as what I used to play, it'll be like probably like some Grand Theft Auto or like like maybe like old school, like Crash Bandicoot. Uh, what else I used to like? I used to fuck with Jack and Daxter too, man. Y'all don't know about that Jack and Daxter. Spyro the Dragon. Man, a lot of a lot of old school shit I used to fuck with, man. I don't really play video games, but back when I did though, it was like wrestling games and shit like that. Let's see what we got next. Uh do you prefer white or black girls? Uh when it comes to that, I don't got a preference. It's as long as you bad, man, that's it. I like bad ones. That's it. <laughs> Somebody said weed or boobs. I'ma just have to leave that up to y'all, man. This a this a family friendly channel, man. It depends on where you at, what's legal, you know what I'm saying? What made you want to do YouTube? I think I kinda answered that one already. Somebody said, How funny was Will Smith during Fresh Prince? He was funny as hell. That was one of the funniest shows I was watching growing up. Where do you work besides YouTube? A lot of y'all been asking me this, like, do you got a job where you work besides YouTube? I am a freelance marketer, so I do marketing jobs for people. So if it's a business or somebody who's doing something they need help marketing, that's me. I get it in for them. Uh, I actually went to school. I was in college for marketing. Uh, next question, do you have children? No, I don't have any children. No baby mamas at all. What's your age? I am 26 years old. What music did you grow up listening to? Uh, like far as like hearing my, like my family, like play like Pac, uh, some Biggie. Me, as far as when I started playing music myself, like Eminem, Nelly, Wayne, uh, you know, them, them artists, artists up in that time. PSN or gamer tag? I don't even know what that is, to be honest. I think PSN is PlayStation Network, but I don't know what Gamertag is. What made you get into music from overseas? Basically, with Swedish music, music was popping up in my recommendations, and then I had people requesting UK music just from my other videos. So that's what happened with that. And then, like as far as like Norway and shit like that, other people from nearby countries start commenting on these videos and requesting shit so i just start dropping their videos or reactions to their videos too uh well my favorite one is iphone a plus do you make money from youtube a lot of y'all been asking me this question do i make money off of youtube but yes the money is not a lot of money at all you know it can add up over time and if you're a bigger youtuber you can make a lot of money then yes but at the level I'm at, I'm not really making a lot of money. I'm making some money for show for show. Once I get my first payment, I'm gonna do a video, dropping a video showing y'all what's my first payment from YouTube. But the most money doesn't come from YouTube. It comes from donations from y'all through like super chats and stuff like that. So if y'all thinking about like money from YouTube ads, that's like fractions of a penny. Uh, my favorite food, I'll say like my favorite food would have to be Either like, I really don't got too much of a favorite. I like shrimp, I like tacos, I like chicken. Uh, I had to pick something like that. Do you have siblings? Are y'all close? Yes, I got three younger brothers. Uh, 19, I think like 12, and then like eight. 
And then I also got uh, more siblings too on my father's side, but I grew up on my mother's side or with my mother, so if y'all know how that be. Okay, now we got, who would you rather feature with? K27 or ZE? I have to say ZE, man. Just because, you know what I'm saying, ZE be going crazy, not only that, and he, he, he consistent in my eyes, and at the same time, you already know he be rocking with me too, so I have to pick him. East or West Coast rap, I have to say, Uh, it depends on what time period you're talking about. If you're talking about right now, I'm going to say West Coast. If you're saying old school, then I'll have to say East Coast. When are you coming to Sweden? I don't know, man. We're going to try to put something together, man. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I could put together a show over there, book a couple artists or something, do a meet and greet. That'll be love, man. That's what I really want to do. Cash Money or Wu-Tang. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Cash Money, man. That's the era I grew up in. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I understand Wu Tang, you know what I'm saying? They legend, they, you know what I'm saying? All that. But at the same time, Cash Money is my era, so I rock Cash Money if I had to pick. What advice would you give to young boys these days? Stay in school. I know it sounds cliche to say that, but not even stay in school. Just get your education. Learn something that you can put to use, you know what I'm saying? And keep learning. Don't just learn one thing and think you've got to learn as many things as possible. Put them to use. And then, you know what I'm saying, make a way out of it. That's all. And stay, you know what I'm saying, stay out of trouble. That's it. What YouTubers inspire you? Hmm. Uh, I rock with everybody, you know what I'm saying, that's in the reaction game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, off the bat, I can think of No Life Shack, you know what I'm saying? I just seen his channel go crazy this year. Uh... Man, it's a couple people, man, I rock with, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm subscribed to a lot of different uh, YouTubers in general, but if we just talking about reaction channels, then it'd be like, you know what I'm saying, people like that. But in general, man, I rock with everybody, though. What made you start doing Swedish reactions? I think I kind of answered that. Would you ever consider moving to London? Hell yeah, I consider moving to London. I want to move to London right now. Shit. How long have you been growing your dreads? Uh, I think this is about to be my... This is about to be like my third or fourth year. I think this is going to be like my fourth year. I think so. I got to check. No, this might be like my third year. Yeah, this might be like my third year. Fresh Prince or Kenyon and Kill? Fresh Prince all day. What made you get into YouTube? I already answered that. Have you ever been criticized for your skin color? Of course I have. I think I'm going to do a story time on my first time experience or something like that, maybe. Because uh, it was crazy. What are your thoughts on 6 9 I think he was doing a lot of stupid shit that, you know, he regret now. And he currently locked up. But I think he going to end up getting out. You know what I'm saying? I think he going to catch a break somehow i don't know but i think you need to stop all that uh clout chasing or that you know all that goofy shit you be doing i ain't with that but some of his songs i fuck with that last one i heard that was straight what is the first time you were okay, okay. if you could damn what is the first time you were criticized about your skin color damn y'all curious about that if you could bring back a song to mainstream what would it be mm. That's a good one. Damn. I don't even know, but if it was an artist I could bring back to mainstream, and they old shit, it'd be Nelly. I used to fuck with Nelly. J. Cole or Rest 32. Whoo! Whoo! I already know what y'all gonna say, man. I already know what y'all gonna say. My UK people, y'all gonna go with Rest. And, you know, I want to go with Cole just because he's from the home. But I can't lie. We, if we, like, line it up, line it up, it, de it depends on what we're going, going on. Rex, I'll say, got the harder bars. He go in spitting more. But J. Cole, I'll say, make better songs. How much Sprite do you drink a day? A lot. Mostly I drink it when I'm recording, like, on camera and shit. But 
sometimes that's a lot. So it could be it could be a lot. <laughs> uh, what was the first record, tape, CD, MP3, or whatever you had, and did it inspire you? Uh, the first one I had was that uh, Eminem, the first CD, like the first, well, it was a tape actually. I had to, I had to take a tape, like a cassette tape, to one of my friend's house, and I burnt it off her, like her, like stereo, like a boombox. I burnt it off. Well, I don't know what it's called. Like when you take the tape and you like burn the tape, but it was like that Eminem. Uh, I think it was like curtain, curtain. I don't know what, I don't know what it was called. It might have been Eminem, Eminem, I don't know, but it was the one with the red curtains, I think. That's the one, uh, my first one I had to, uh, like, the first one I owned on, on my own. Do you think the world is a smaller place because of the internet? Of course, I'm talking to y'all in different countries, you know, and, and people across my country right now that I never talked to without the internet. So, yeah, for sure. How was your childhood? Uh, my childhood was, you know, it wasn't too bad i definitely grew up poor you know certain times niggas was poor but aside from that you know i learned a lot of things in my childhood you know i had some good role models i had you know some good people to teach me uh certain things to get my mind you know in a certain area so you know it was straight overall it was some hard times though, i ain't gonna lie i might do a couple story times but y'all just to let y'all know how real shit was and definitely that eminem uh definitely inspired me for sure it did have you ever seen somebody in your hood get smoked? <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely seen a couple people get smoked. Man, shit crazy where I'm from. What would you change in UK scene? And what would your what would you bring to the US? In the UK, I would definitely. Damn, that's a tough one, man. What would I change? I say I change all the knife shit, man. I'm gonna change all the knife shit. And then what I'll bring to the US is how some of them in the drill rap, they still have a lot of bars, like like top level bars that I fuck with. I like that. How do you feel about US music industry? It could use a little help right now. It's all right. There's some artists doing their thing that I really fuck with. I like their music. I enjoy what they bring into the game. But as a whole, I think it needs a little something, something. I don't know. What are your plans for future? Because obviously reacting to music won't last forever. Man, I got, y'all funny as hell, but I got a lot of things planned in the future. Obviously, I can't just lay everything out, you know what I'm saying? Because it don't work like that. But trust me, this ain't, you know what I'm saying? This ain't the whole game plan. I plan just to start off as far as YouTube, using YouTube as a platform to build a personal brand. Then after I develop my personal brand, you know, branching off into other things. So that's just like a little, just a little bit. Like one thing I'm starting, I'm, a, uh, I'm making a course, like a YouTube course. So that's something I'm gonna be dropping. If y'all interested in that, let me know, I'll plug you. What's some Wisconsin slang? Uh, shooting, like we call shooting, like not shooting, but like, like if you're in a car and you're going fast and you're going somewhere, they'll call that like you shooting. Uh, like, I'm going to go shoot to the store. I'm going to go shoot to Walmart. I'm going to shoot to the gas station. That just means you're going to go drive real fast over there. Uh, jacking. Jacking means, like, flexing. Like, like if somebody be like, man, look at dog jacking. That means, like, he flexing. He trying to show off or something like that. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to make sure I'm only telling y'all slang that's Wisconsin that I never heard of somewhere else. Uh, well, one of the, like, one of a, it ain't really slang, but it's a word that I heard on Wisconsin people say, which is bubbler. Like, that's what we call a water fountain. Like, what normal people would call a water fountain that you drink from. Like, not, like, if it's, if it's a water fountain that you don't drink from, then we would call it a water fountain. But if it's the kind that you would drink from, like, at a gym or a, at a basketball court, then we'll call that a bubbler. That's something that I hear me Wisconsin people say. Stoli is a stolen car. That's something that, uh, so like somebody say, oh, they in a stoli. That mean they in a stolen car. But that's pretty much it I can think of off the bat for the Wisconsin slang. 
Do you drink dirty Sprite? No, I don't drink dirty Sprite. <laughs> you gonna do anything new with Track Bandits? Hey man, we got something to work, man. Stay tuned, man. If you could visit anywhere in the world, where and why? Damn, that's a tough one, man. I still don't even know all the places in the world yet. Honestly, y'all, I'm real bad at geography, so I gotta learn some more spots where I can just pick a place that I go. But right now, I say I wanna go to the UK, London, and Sweden the most right now. So, Stockholm to be exact. What do you think about Swedish rap? I think Swedish rap cool, man. I fuck with it. Some of y'all songs is real songs that I like that I listen to on a regular basis. Who's your favorite rapper? I couldn't even really pick a favorite rapper because I fuck with too many rappers, so that'd just be like it'd be too hard to even try to do that. Some of my favorite rappers would be like of all time, Pac, Wayne, I fuck with Future. Uh it depends, man, because I can give you a long list, but it'll be like me. You know what I'm saying? Like Nelly Young Scooter. Uh, right now, who hot NBA Young Boy, Lil Baby. Uh, I fuck with Black Youngster. Lucci, Derez Deshaun. A lot a lot of people. Uh, from my city, Chicken. Uh, Lil Chicken. Uh, Reject. Pat. Oh, man. Put me niggas, man. I'm telling y'all, man. Smooth Dig, man. Y'all already know that's because of, man. Uh, who else, man? Karan, man. Everybody, man. Uh, yeah, that, that's all I can think of off the bat, but I fuck with everybody. Who would you rather get sponsored by, Sprite or Sprite or Porsche? It honestly depends on the sponsorship. It depends on who cuts the biggest check. That's what I'm going with. Why don't U.S. labels want to sign U.K. artists? Uh, I think it's a big difference in y'all type of music versus ours. Like, y'all style is a lot different from ours. So, starting off, it would be real hard to get people over here to even want to listen to y'all music just because of the style is so different. Like, a, like how y'all... Let me see. Like, one, well, one, the biggest thing will be the accent. It'll be hard for people to get past the accent. That's the number one thing. But once they get past the accent, it'll probably be like the style. Like, a lot of y'all do, like, grind rap, shit like that. Like, that ain't floating over here at all. Like, grind is not, people not going to, I'm, I'm not saying some people might not find a niche for it or see, like, you know what I'm saying, so, like it somehow. But for the most part, grind music ain't going to work. UK trap will work over here. UK rap will work over here. Like, niggas like uh, Rich Gets, I think they'll work over here. A collar, a collar would definitely work over here. But like, like, it'll just be, it'll be, y'all definitely got a different style from us. I can say that. But uh, do you play Fortnite? No, I haven't played Fortnite, but I'm gonna definitely try to get into it though. Uh, you have any sports idols? Definitely. Uh, a lot of boxers: Muhammad Ali, Mayweather, basketball: Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. Man, a lot of people, man. A lot of people, man. Everybody. But uh. Top three overrated rappers. I couldn't even tell you that, man, to be honest with you, because it would just be my opinion. So, I don't know. Uh, what do you like to listen? Why do you like to listen to Swedish songs? Because y'all be requesting them and they be lit. If they, if y'all kept requesting Swedish songs and they was weak as hell, I'd have been stop doing Swedish music. So, that's it for the Q&A, man. Those are the questions y'all sent me. Every time somebody asks me for a question, I'm sending them to this video, man. Drop A1 Gang in the comment section if you made it to the end of this video, man. I appreciate y'all's support, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications. Follow me on Instagram and stay down. Come up underscore December. A1 Gang, yo.